let's do this. Another like 50 books that I literally don't need. Somebody stop me, please. Also, I just want to talk about my Q mug. Yeah, I put water in it. It's because I want to drink out of it, but I didn't want any tea or coffee, okay? Look how cute it is. Just drinking water, no biggie. Hello, my beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Janelle. And if you're not new, hi, my name's still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So today I have for you guys yet another book haul because I have no self-control. Actually, a lot of these were gifted to me by my lovely, lovely friends um, that want to support my channel. And I love that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a book haul today. Um, before we do the book haul, you should subscribe. If you haven't, you seriously will not regret it. We have a like killer time over here. I upload twice a week, twice every single week. It's great. It's a fun time. If you'd like to join the beauty family, you know, you can click the red button if you want, or you don't have to, you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm in a really weird mood. I also want to say, some of these books I have talked about on my channel, like in other videos, but I did recently just haul them. So I feel the need to talk about them again in this video. So just FYI. Also, yes, uh, my books are rearranged again <laughs> behind me and um, there are like gaps and stuff. And it's because the books are now on the floor or the gaps. I thought this would be a cute spot. There's a rainbow in the background, you know, it's a good time. Also, I am gonna go ahead and say that I'm not going to be going into detail about what these books are about or anything like that. You can search up any of these books on Google if you want, um, if you wanna know more. Um, but I'm gonna try and keep this short because if not, this is gonna be a ridiculously long video. Okay, let's talk about book number one out of like 475. First book that we're gonna be talking about is Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. So I just love the artwork on this. Like this is absolutely stunning. I got this actually myself at Barnes Noble and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I really just bought it because of the artwork. Sometimes it's okay to do that. Okay, next up we have The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I got this in a book of the month box. I'm very excited about this. As you guys know, Riley Sager is one of my favorite authors. So I'm really excited to have another one of his books. Next up, we have People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I am super, super excited to dig into this. Um, I am going to be reading this for a special vlog, so stay tuned for that if you want to see my reactions and what this vlog, you know, entails. Apparently, I am burping a lot. It's better than yawning. Is it? Is it better than yawning? I don't know. Uh, I also have Survive the Night by Riley Sager, which I have read. I, I have read it, but I did just recently get it, so it's in this video. Another Riley Sager, we love him. Next up, I'm gonna move to this little stack of ARCs that I got uh, from work. For those that don't know, I work at a Barnes & Noble in my city. Sometimes I get free ARCs. Some of these, I think two of these aren't even ARCs anymore because they were sitting on that cart for so long, but uh, snagged them because they're free. Um, first, we have Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper, maybe? I don't know. This one looks really cute. I mean, it's a fish and a fish bowl. I also got All the Feels by Olivia Dade. So I haven't read any of Olivia Dade, but I have been intrigued to do so. Um, and this just looked really cute and it's an arc, so why not, you know? Next up, we have Neil by Candace Buford. So this I've heard lots and lots of great things about already and it's still an arc, like it still has not even come out yet. Um, but it does come out this month, so I do want to read it. We also got Over My Dead Body by Jeffrey Archer. So this one is so much of an arc that it doesn't even have a title cover yet. It doesn't have a cover page yet. I don't know what to call it. I've, this is my first time, you know, with arcs. Yeah, so I got this. I think this is like a thriller mystery, so you know, we're here for it. And lastly, Monstrous Volume 5. So I own Volume 1 and Volume 1 only, but you know, Volume 5 was free, so I got it. Okay, so next up is another middle grade, and that is Willa of the Wood by Robert Beatty. I'm very excited about this. This is also absolutely stunning. I can't wait to read this. Um, I just love middle grades. They're just so cute. Um, these next three books were gifted to me by my lovely sister, Katie. Um, I'm going to link her Instagram in the description because this girl is ridiculously talented in makeup. I don't know how she does it. I mean, like I taught her like basics and then, I mean, this girl does like art on her face. So you should definitely check her Instagram out. I mean, seriously, especially if you're into makeup, 
and even if you're not it's just stunning work she got me the good sister by gillian McAllister. this is not the good sister that i think everybody's talking about i think this is a different one um but this one is also a thriller and i'm excited about it um she also got me the learning curve by mandy berman this one is just a really cute cover i like yellow so this is cute um i have no idea what this is about but it's free. Next up, I have Exhibit Alexandra by Natasha Bell. This I am really excited about. Not a huge fan of the cover, but I am excited about the story because it is also a thriller and I think it's like a domestic thriller. I don't know, but I'm excited about it. Okay, so next up, I have The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. This I purchased for myself because I need it for a buddy read, but I am excited to read this because so far I'm loving the mortal instruments. So this should be a good time as well. Next up, we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. A lot of you guys know my thoughts on this. I didn't like it, but I have it. Um, and it was gifted to me by my lovely best friend, Sydney. And she also didn't like it. So everything's fine. And next up, I have A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So I loved the first book and my lovely friend Day gifted these to me. And I have already read A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Loved it. Me and her had a blast talking about it. And I cannot wait to get to this. So it's going to be a good time. I'm running out of places to put these books. Next up, I have Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This was also gifted to me by Sydney, so thank you, Sydney. And also, thank you, Day. I didn't, I don't know if I said that, but thank you. Um, but this was also gifted to me, and I need to read the first book still. So, you know, there's that. Next up, we have The City of Brass by S.A. Shackrebord. I'm just gonna not even try. This I'm pretty sure I purchased myself. Next up we have The Final Girl Support Group by Grady, Grady Hendricks. This was gifted to me by my lovely friend Kira and Mel Reed's Patreon, so thank you Kira. And I loved this, loved this so much. So, you know, but it still was recently added to my collection of books. Next up we have The Chestnut Man by Soren, S mm, that's, that's a hard one, mm -mm, I don't know. Um, but this one is like a horror thriller. Excited about it. I'm also loving this red vibe right now. Um, and next up, I have Tokyo Ghoul Volume 2, which I loved. It was a great time. This is a manga, so you read it backwards for us Americans. But I feel like that doesn't just apply to Americans. Moving on. Um, and next up, we have Frankenstein by Jinju... Jinji Ito? I think that's how you say that. Um, this I am planning on reading in the month of October. It is a manga of Frankenstein. And this, I just love this cover. It's like the perfect balance of like creepy and like colorful. Like how they do that? Impressive. Okay, my last little stack. We're just flying through these. Aren't you proud of me? Um, okay, next up we have No Exit by Taylor Adams. This is also going to be read in a special vlog. Um, so yes, bought this for myself though. So there's that. Next up, I have A Witch is Steeped in Gold by Sion and Smart. This was gifted to me by my lovely coworker. So thank you, coworker. I don't know how she feels about me saying her name on the internet. So I'm going to refrain from doing so, but I have this stunning fairy loot edition because she just gave it to me. Ah, kindness. Next up, we have Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Yep, I'm right. Um, and this I also purchased myself, but I'm really, really excited to get into this series. I've been wanting to get into this series for so long, but Barnes & Noble has yet to have the first book and it, they finally had it and I just snagged that thing, you know? Next up, we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. This was gifted to me my, by my lovely friend, Victoria. Thank you, Victoria. I have loved this book. It was amazing. Next up, we have Horrid by Katrina Leno. This one I also purchased myself. Very excited to read this in the spooky season. I also have They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Super excited about this one. I've heard great things about this one. This is like a really hyped book. Uh, my cousin loved it, so I'm excited to read it as well. I also have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, um, which I feel like has like mixed reviews, but I'm excited to read it. I've heard good things about it, but I've also heard not so good things about it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I also got this book called Spooky Florida. This is a like a uh, collection of short stories about spooky things that have happened in different cities in my state. And my city is in this book. So I'm excited to read, you know, about my city and its spookiness. Um, I also have this stunning classic Pride and Prejudice, gorgeous. 
And lastly, I have Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. This one I wanted to read last fall, but I got into reading like late November, which is when I started my channel. So I got into reading like November-ish. It didn't work out for me to really read this because the fall season was ending. So I'm really excited to be able to read it this year. I think that's all. I think we did it. We did that. Yes, those are all of the books that I have recently hauled that you guys may or may not have known about some of them, but sometimes you want to make your hauls bigger, so you just add books that maybe your viewers already knew about, but you didn't do them in a haul yet. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop. Something's- there, there's gotta be something in this water because I am going like absolutely crazy and it is like 9.30, like what am I doing? p.m. it's 9 30 p.m. like i don't know what's wrong with my brain like i should be shutting down going to sleep but don't be wide awake for some reason yeah so i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and all of my craziness i'll see you guys on the next one